let's get started. Um, I don't have to tell you who I am, but hello, Jose. Uh, good to see you. Haven't seen you in a while. If you could add where you're from, I know Tom is from Venezuela. I'm not sure where you're from, Jose. And uh, we'll get started on the web quest. Have you, st oh, Mexico, excellent. Have you started the uh, web quest? Have you started yours? If you could say yes, no. Just started. I'm not asking whether you have finished. Okay, hello Beatrice. The question is, uh, where are you from and have you started your web quest? Okay, we're going to review uh, parts of the web quest, talk a little bit about it, and then by the way, you don't have to do a web quest alone. You can do your web quest with uh, other people. In fact, I did one of my web quests with, um, I think it was about six people, five or six people, which is quite a, a lot of people from Brazil. Excellent. All right. So uh, South America rules. Okay, so uh, the web quest. We uh, looked at some ways where you can create your web quest using a blogger and use instructions with MoveNote. And I'm going to hopefully be able to screen share. I'm going to start it now. A wonderful web quest for young children, very young children, in fact. Hello, Susan. I'm screen sharing, so everything is frozen, but let's do this slowly. So my Mac will accept Java. Soon uh, WizIQ will have the desktop for um, Macs, and then we'll be ready to go. All right, so I'm my uh, webcam there so I can screen share and I'm going to take you to a wonderful place. Okay, here we are. It's called Adventure 223. The journey begins. And this is a web quest created by a teacher in the United Kingdom. I'm going to share the link with you so that you can also view it in case you're not able to watch and benefit from the screen sharing. All right, so let's take a look at it. She's got all the parts, the introduction, the task, process, evaluation, and conclusion. Okay, these are the major parts of a web quest. She does not have one part is missing. And what part is that? Okay, so um, we'll see what part is missing. And then she has the check in. I love her introduction. And she also has a uh, fact, frequently asked questions. Notice she's got WebQuest resources up here, the WebQuest gallery, and the date is February 28. She also has a drop down menu which is worth quite a bit. Okay, so let's take a look at this. We're going to go into the introduction. And I hope you can hear this. I'll raise the volume on my Mac. Okay, here we go. Introduction. The journey begins. She also has the text, but she also has audio. And that's where the move note or uh, screencast-o-matic can come in handy. Introduction. The journey begins. You are going on an amazing journey, an adventure, a web quest. You will be going to many different places all around the world on the internet. To find out more about yourself, about you as a person and you as a learner. Introduction. The, the journey begins. You are going on an amazing journey, 
an adventure. Isn't that amazing? I love quest. that. All right, you and then she goes on to on the left. All around what is the world a web on the quest? internet? Okay, to find and out then more uh, about yourself. Again, she about uses you as a person audio and you as a learner. What is the adventure web? starts in year six and what goes on in year seven. Ready? On the Let's internet, go. The web. Bernie Dodge is a professor who designed the idea of a web quest. Doing a web quest helps you find out about yourself and the way you solve problems. It is not just about searching. What is a web quest? Information on the internet, a web quest is an adventure, a quest, on the internet, the web. Using the Bernie Dodge is a professor who designed the idea of a web quest. Doing a web quest helps you find out about yourself and the way you solve problems. It is not just about searching and finding and then she goes on, on the internet, and notice everything but thinking is here. carefully about okay, how to get the right information and using the information it. you find. And then there are many the different web parts of web introduction, the task, process, evaluation, can be about anything. Notice the resources this web quest are not is about here. using literacy and ICT. This is how a web quest is organized. Introduction. What a web quest is. Task. What you have to do. Process. How to do the task broken down into smaller steps to help you. Evaluation. Rate what this is how a web quest is organized. Why you have Introduction. How well you what a web quest is. Conclusion. Task. What, what you, you have to do. During the web quest. Process. How to do the task broken down into okay, small steps to help you. Okay, I think that's amazing. And then she goes on to over to Rate you, what you have and done, the journey begins. How you have done it, why you have done it, how well it you have done it. Conclusion. What you have learned you doing the web quest and what you might change next time you, you do another web quest. Story. You decide what ICT will help you. You decide what order is best for the tasks. Over you to you. Decide. This These is your web quest. It is your like. learning journey. Your web quest you decide what information you want. Isn't that amazing? I you love that. You decide what to put All into right, your then, story. Um, if we go back, you decide okay, what ICT by clicking will on help you. Resources, you decide we can go on what to order the is task. best for the tasks. And again, decide. these are young learners. Be as original and as different as you okay. like. Okay. Uh, and Make the task is, what do I do? World. And then the explanation. What do I do? You have two challenging tasks. You I'm not going to go through it, but I'd like you to do it yourself. Go through each of these and see what you can get out of it. Okay? And then get Task. ideas on how what you want to do, do your web quest. Okay, you let's go back to class. I'm not tasks. sure whether you were able you to see or not. So here, there's the link once again. And um, we don't listen to the other classmates. No, you don't. But we will in a minute. Okay, so um, I'm frozen. No, I just took... It was freezing. When you start the screen sharing process, it freezes everything on my Mac. But as soon as I have a desktop for Macs, I won't freeze anymore because I won't need to use Java, Tom. Java is problematic um, on most computers for these screencasts. So that's why uh, there's the desktop that takes care of that. All right, so uh, hello, Guadalupe. I see some others have joined. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that, Susan. She, I'm always worried that maybe I'm screen sharing and nobody sees anything. All right, so there's the link. Please go through it. You have everything on the left. And the best way to get the uh, audio is through a blogger. In other words, through... A blog and since the month of uh, March we're going to have the spring blog festival uh, it's a chance for you to learn about blogging and how uh, to use them yes it's only for drinking so I've got my Java here my coffee which is still cold from the other class 
Okay, so are there questions about the screen sharing? How many people saw the screen sharing? Of um, It's from the government, United Kingdom government. Very professional. <laughs> Yours is cold too. But Thomas, I was waiting to hear from you on Skype so that uh, we can work something out. But I didn't, I didn't see you there. I'm looking over there because my, my Skype is on my PC and my Mac is in front of me because I'm uh, recording here. But um, are there any questions? Can I pass on the mic? Are there any questions about what you saw? Um, will our WebQuest assignment be extended? Yes, I was thinking about it, Susan. I think you mentioned it, and I think somebody else mentioned it as well. Um, I'm wondering if it's possible to extend on WizIQ. I think it's possible. Since you were so busy this month with so many other things to do, um, let me check and see. Okay, I'm going to check and see if I can extend. You've got seven days. You do realize that. Okay, let's see if I can uh, go into the assignment and extend. I'm not sure. Um, let's see. The assignment. I can edit the assignment, which means that I can extend it. Okay, I extended it. Um, what should I extend it to? Um, okay, when would you like me to extend it? Okay, I'm going to screen share so you can see how I'm doing this. Okay, the assignment on WizIQ is amazing. I just love it. Okay, so um, who would like to take any idea when you'd like me to extend it? Let me know. Oh, you're having lunch. I find it hard to say I'm eating lunch. I have, I, um, I use the have. <laughs> I'm having lunch. Sorry. I don't eat lunch. I eat the food. So, um, extension. When would you like me to extend it to, Susan? If you could add that in the chat. Uh, would you like at the end of the month? Should I leave it open? You know what? Maybe I'll just leave it open. Okay, so let me screen share and take you there right now. Okay, there's the assignment. Uh, let me show you what I did. Okay, that's the assignment. Okay, I'm going to go into um, edit, which is at the top right. Click on edit. Make sure you don't delete it. And then I'll click on this. I can click on this uh, calendar and then... Um, extend it to March, the end of March, whatever. And I can also, learners can submit the assignment at any time. I think that's fair. Anytime. There. Okay. So whenever you're ready. Okay. I did that. Okay. I hope that's good. Yes, it's open. I, I left it open. Let me stop screen sharing. Okay. I hope that's uh, fair enough for everybody. Super. Great. All right. So do you want to voice your questions? Um, we said we would use the, uh, the mics. So um, who has tested their mic and knows that they're working and is able to use it? Anyone? It doesn't have to be a webcam. Is it possible to do something similar? I don't like Zuna, you know, because it's very limiting and it's stuck there. If you do it in Zuma, Zuna, and Zuna goes bankrupt, um, I mean, Google is not going to go bankrupt in the next couple of years, I don't think. Uh, but Zuna could. And if Zuna goes, your web quest goes. So that's why I don't like Zuna. Oh, you don't have a set plugged into the external. Oh, okay. Okay, Guadalupe. Don't use Zuno. Okay. Uh, yeah, of course it's free. Use Blogger. Trust me. You will have a better time with it. It'll be yours forever. It's yours. And if you want to have a customized domain, it'll be yours forever. If it was a customized domain on Blogger. Yes, I recommend Blogger. 
you as a blog. And that's what we did. If you could watch last class. Yes, Blogger is great. It's Google. And you can add everything you want into it. You are limited on Zunal. Very limited. And I don't think you want to be limited. Um, how about WordPress? Well, if you like WordPress, use WordPress. I just think that Blogger is a lot easier. WordPress, you need to have a bit of um, knowledge. Unless you have WordPress.com, I have WordPress.org. It's up to you. Blogger is easy because it's connected to uh, Google Drive. And, uh, and I think that Blogger will be around longer than WordPress. Unless it's worth okay, the parts. What part was missing? Okay, there's six basic parts of a web quest. And by the way, those of you who came in late, I mentioned that you can do this in teams if you want to team up and do it with someone else. You might want to do that for the first time and then create by yourself when you feel more confident. Uh, working collaboratively on a Web quest is a nice idea. And I also mentioned that I worked with six, five or six people once on a web quest. Yes, uh, you changed from WordPress. Yeah, I think I have WordPress.com. I don't like it. I also have WordPress.org and I don't like it. I just don't like Word, even though it has some interesting features, but um, I prefer. Google and everything Google. Introduction, you introduce it, your topic. Task, you introduce what the students will be doing. Process, you give the steps. Resources, you give them the links so that they don't go all over the place. But you allow them some leeway if you like, depending on their ages, but still at any age, lost on the internet. Evaluation, you're going to evaluate their work. And conclusion, they have to come up with some conclusion and reflection. The reflection is included in the conclusion. So those are the six parts. Any questions about the six parts? Any questions? Yes, uh, Guadalupe. Guadalupe, do you have a Gmail account? No question. Oh, yes. Okay, great. So uh, let me show you what you do. If you have a Gmail account, it's very, very easy. Guadalupe, were you able to see my screen sharing before? Yes. Okay, so let me do it again. I'm just uh, afraid, but I'm okay. I'm going to freeze, Tom. Oh, I didn't freeze this time. Did I freeze? Okay, so let's. Um, Let's go into um, my Gmail. Okay, so I'm going to go into Gmail so you can see. Okay, I'm in my Gmail account. Okay, this is Gmail. And um, on the top right, this is what you'll see, apps. You click on the apps and you get this. Okay, uh, Guadalupe and everybody. And then you go into more. Under more, you'll get blogger. Hello, there's Blogger, there's Translate. If you want to get even more, you'll get more stuff, but you don't want to get any more. Okay, but this is everything that you can have. But there's the Blogger. Okay, but you might not want it. There's Social, Hangouts, and Blogger. Click on Blogger. Okay, it's orange, like Moodle. Almost the same color, but not quite. You click on Blogger, and then it'll take you to all my blogs. As you can see, I have a lot of blogs. A lot of blogs. I've never bothered counting them, but um, I have a lot of blogs. See, it goes on and on and on and on. Anybody counting? I suggest you don't. All right. I even have Education for Peace. Long time ago. Lots of blogs. Okay. And I also have blogs on WordPress and who knows on what others, but okay. So what you do is 
if you want a new blog, you go here, it says new blog. You click on, you see on the left, it'll say, this is my blog, new blog. You click on new blog and you give it a title. What title? Whatever you want to call it. You can always change the title, so don't worry about it. You can also add a custom domain, and I have a few of those. So let's call it um, Mahara. I think somebody wanted Mahara. Okay, Susan Mahara. And then you have to, you can get a custom domain. Otherwise, it says .blogspot.com. Okay, and um, it doesn't like my title. Then you have to choose a template. Okay, there are lots of templates. Okay, not that many. Click on simple and address. The address is going to be Mahara. No, it's taken. Mahara. Um, Mahara 2014. How's that? Oh, it's available. Mahara 2014. And then I go to create blog. And now I have another blog called Mahara. Okay, there's my new blog. And I can start posting. Now the blog will look like this at the beginning. Say view blog. There's Mahara. Okay, there's nothing here except my about me. Okay, so what do I do? What do I do? At the top right, it'll say new post and design. So I can design it. Okay, and um, I have lots of designs, overview, post, pages. For the web quest, we're going through pages. We're creating six or seven pages. Okay, so uh, I'm going to create a page and another page. That's how I did it, create a new page. Okay, if you go through it, you'll see um, how it's done. I actually showed this in uh, the class on the web quest, I think in two of the classes. Okay, and there's also a YouTube video. Now, what's nice about this is that you can add all kinds of things. Okay, if you go to, let's say I'm going to a new post. Okay, this is a new, brand new post. See, I can add um, anything. I can add an image. I can add a video. Okay, and it's very, very easy to use. And that's it. So create pages. One page for the uh, introduction. Okay, let's go back to uh, a new page. One page for the introduction, intro. And then you can, um, after you have them all, you can um, work on them. One page, publish on the orange. Next page, okay, so I have introduction. Next one, new page for task. Okay, publish. And then you can edit it Okay, and then I can move it up. Okay, I want this to be first, so um, I can change the way it's set up later on by moving them up and down. Okay, and that's it. I work through it. If you have any questions, um, add them in the course feed and we will help all of us. Okay, so let me go back to class and stop screen sharing. Okay, I hope that has helped. Tom Stuckbox? What do you mean? Uh, that's your web quest, Tom Stuckbox. Or Tom, what do you mean? Oh, you have a few blogs. This is your web quest blog? It looks interesting. Okay, so you don't have anything there. You need to add pay. Oh, you do. Okay, great. You have um, introduction, task, process, resource, evaluation, conclusion. Excellent. And what do you have under introduction? Nothing. Under tasks? Nothing. But you will. Okay, you will get there and we'll add comments. Okay, we'll add, but this is in Spanish. How do I get this to be unspanish? How do I get this to be in English?
interesting. Well, I can learn Spanish. Good way to learn Spanish. Tom's Tukba. Okay. So those are the parts that you need. A page for each, and then you work on them. Oh, it was delayed. I want audio in my web quest. Great! That's great! Easy to do. Very easy to do. All right. Um, you can get all kinds of things added to your blog. Okay, and you can use Audacity. And we can share different ideas if you start working. Uh, share different ideas on in the course feed. Okay, and you can ask questions. Ah, hello, De, De Jabril. Well, and um, Guadalupe, this is how I explained how you can... Uh, the PowerPoint presentations available in Learn to Blend and Flip with Technology. Okay, so this is where you add, you create a new blog, you add a title. This is what I showed you. If you missed it, Guadalupe, this is exactly what I showed you before. Why does it scare you? It used to scare me too. <laughs> yeah, Audacity. I used to be so scared of Audacity, uh, Susan, so I completely share your feelings. But I don't understand why I was scared, but I was. I was really, it was like everybody was talking audacity, audacity, and I would be like, audacity, audacity. But um, it's, it's really a cool tool and it's free. Okay, and then um, you give yourself a title, create web quest, okay, Guadalupe, and then you create pages. You see on the left, you edit, create pages. Okay, page one, new page. And you give it a name. You can have your Pagino Home Principa, uh, whatever it said there. Uh, okay, and then you start by creating an introduction and then you describe it. And then that's it. You go through each of them. The move notes are great because you can add your instructions using Susan Audio and. Uh, text. Okay, so this is a great way. <laughs> okay, and ask questions. Ask, 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 ask. Every question will lead you closer to your goals. So keep asking. Don't be stuck. You see, the problem is that we, with our students too, they don't ask. Um, and, they, and then they get stuck and then they say, I don't understand anything. That's the end. That's why it's important to ask, ask, ask. The minute you have a question, it's not stupid. Don't, you know, don't kind of silence yourself and say, I'm not going to ask. I'm not going to. Yes, ask. Okay, you may think it's stupid, but it's never stupid. So this is called Adventure 223, The Journey Begins. I showed you uh, with the introduction, task, process, evaluation, conclusion, and the resources are here. Okay, it's really, really cool. It was done by the government of the, of the I don't know, it says government. So um, it's a pretty um, professional web quest. You can also create a web quest if you have a website, which is what I did um, on my website. The link, ah, Audacity. Audacity is really easy uh, to use and, um, and actually fun to use. Let me take you to Audacity, okay? You write down Audacity, Audacity. Okay, there's Audacity. And then you d need to download it, whether you, there's the icon. Um, you click on it, you download it. There's download for Mac, for Windows. Okay, you download it, and the sound is amazing. And it's completely free. It's also open source, like Moodle, and that's why it's free. So you've got Audacity for Windows. And they, they provide you with help if you're having problems. And then you do it from your computer. I don't know if I have... 
let's see if, if I have Audacity on my Mac. Um, let's see, Audacity. Maybe I don't have it anymore. Sometimes I, um, I get rid of it and then I bring it back. Uh, Audacity. Audacity. Um, I don't know if I have Audacity now. It looks like I, um, I need to download it again. Um, I don't know why it's gone. Maybe I got rid of it. Okay, so I'm on a Mac, so you click on download. Okay, and then you download it. I hope I'm downloading the right thing. Download. Um... I don't know if I'm downloading it, this or something else. You really have to be careful sometimes that you don't download uh, the wrong stuff. See, um, I'm not sure what this is. It's an advertisement, okay? So that's not what you're supposed to download. Um, I don't think. And then you've got uh, a zip file. Okay, there it went up there. And then um, I don't know how fast it is. And then you go into your um, into your system and into your downloads. This is a Mac, so it probably looks completely different from yours I don't know if it's here yet uh, it's not it'll take some time and then you just whenever you want to um, I don't have it here sorry whenever you want to um, you click on it and you record it's very easy to record there's no problem with it anybody um use audacity on a regular basis anybody use it sorry i i thought i had it on my system it looks like um, i got rid of it or it disappeared or something Anybody? Okay, I'll create a <laughs> I'll create a tutorial on how to use um, Audacity. Okay, and that should uh, get everybody. Okay, so uh, let me make sure that I don't forget that. Create if if I don't have do it by uh, if you don't get it by tomorrow, then remind me. Uh, SoundCloud, I have uh, SoundCloud, but it's not doesn't work the same way. You can also create using Screencast-O-Matic, uh, but if you want just audio, I think Audacity is your best bet. Oh, for yes, to save files, yes, but not for recording. You can also use Poodle, by the way. You can use Poodle and um, audio, and you can save the file and then add the file to your blog. So if you're happy with Poodle, you can, yes, that Poodle, yes, the Poodle with the capital L's at the end. So yes, you can use Poodle. And um, that's one way you can also use, if you want to use video, you can use YouTube video and give the instructions. But I would stick to MoveNote and screencast thematic MoveNote um, audio.
why is the SoundCloud difficult? Susan, maybe you should do it. Susan, the best way to learn is to create a tutorial yourself. So, um, so maybe you should um, do a tutorial, Susan, on um, SoundCloud, and then you'll be an expert. Doing a tutorial really does help. So maybe get together and decide uh, who's going to do what and, um, and create tutorials for each other. Why can't you use Screencast-O-Matic? Why not? You don't have to embed. You can actually, if you're doing YouTube, you just um, move it over there. Okay, questions. Okay, that's what it's about. This session is about questions, questions, questions. So every question is a good question. And we can add the questions um, on the whiteboard since um, no one wants to use their audio unless um, I can give audio to everybody. Okay, so there are questions. Can you um, add questions, please? Uh, it doesn't match with what's... What do you mean? You have a large external screen. It doesn't match up with what Screencast sees. I make my... I size my screens uh, to be HD. They're actually very small. My screen is huge, Susan. So I, I use... Uh, when I use Screencast-O-Matic, I minimize my screen so that it fits into um, the HD. I just make it smaller. Yeah, there are tutorials for Audacity. See, the reason Audacity is great is the audio is really amazing. You get super clear fairy. I, I think it's the clearest audio you can get very clear no matter what system you're using so if you like audio uh, audacity is best if you don't want video yeah it's um it's quite easy actually easy when i say easy uh let me um let me show you if i go into um screencast o matic okay let me uh go into screencast o matic okay let me show you how it works how i do it okay there's screencast o matic okay i'm going to start recording okay so look this is right now it's really small okay it's small and I want it larger okay <laughs> I want it larger okay I can make it I just pull from the sides but I don't do that what I do is this where it says the size I click on it and then what I do is whoops it's going all over because I'm super screen sharing here uh, what I do is I, I want the HD higher definition full HD and then it's automatic because the best thing is actually the HD for me anyway 
and then I bring everything to that size. I bring, I minimize everything so that it's that size. Okay, so let's say if I'm going into, uh, let's see, where am I going to go? Here. Okay, I'm here, and I want to record, whoops, this part. So I'll click on, wait a minute. I'll click on record, okay? First of all, it's the highest. Okay, I open the size and I get different things here. I hope I'm not making you dizzy. Okay, so I have the highest possible and full screen. I want it full HD. That's what I use. And then I click on the record and okay there it is and i start recording and that's the area i don't do anything i just stay here and then i can go into the process okay i'm in the process now if i want um okay let me uh restart i click on restart okay there's the restart if i if i want to pause which is really important if i want to cough or if I want to have some coffee, I click on this pause and it's paused. To restart, I go to restart. Okay, and then it says, are you sure you want to completely restart the recording? No, I want to continue. So how do I continue? I go into this button again, continue recording. Now that's confusing sometimes, continue recording. And then I continue, even though it looks like it's starting all over, but actually it's continuing. Again, pause so I can breathe. And come back to it an hour, two hours later. And then in the same button, continue recording. Practice. It's really a lot of fun and it's not, I mean, you need to, don't be afraid of it. First of all, just keep trying and you'll love it. Okay, so let me, and when you're done, you're done there and then look what I can do here I don't know recording if you... and that's the area I don't do anything I just stay here and then I can go into the process okay you heard that and then I can just I go into you I like Vimeo better actually Vimeo okay so I can do Vimeo oh I need to log in as I'm not gonna do it now okay recording or, and that's um, the area YouTube. I don't do anything I just stay here and then I can go I into the I process something else here uh, Vimeo okay there's Vimeo I can also go to Google Drive okay which is great Google Drive and then if you do it on Google Drive you can also do it on your blog Google Drive and um, and YouTube video and everything it's really a, a handy tool okay I better go back to class before we get timed out all right so um, screencast-o-matic you need to keep trying okay uh, take the tool and use it. Okay, just use it, uh, Susan. And it's great for audio. It is audio. Uh, Screencast-O-Matic is audio because you can you can also have your video in it, but you don't have to. So you get great audio. And what else do you need? You don't need Audacity in that case. So you've got. Um, I have Cam Studio too. I don't like Camtasia. I only like Jing from TechSmith. I don't like their other products. Um, netbook to, oh, you're on a netbook to accommodate the larger screen. Why do you have to have a larger screen? You can have, I have small, I mean, I use small screens, even though I have a large screen, but I also use it on my Mac notebook and my Mac is tiny. Where is it? It's really a tiny thing. Um, it's really, really small. You know what a matte notebook looks like. Look how tiny it is. And I, oh, you can't see how tiny it is. But trust me, it is very, very small. Okay, you can see how small it is. It's almost the size of mine. Okay, it's very tiny. You could also um, use a small tablet if you've got a small one in and new screencast automatic there you can't see well you can see it oh you can't see see how small it is whoops you can see that it's really tiny Whoop. you can't see 
try Screencast-O-Matic. You have to try it. Even just start it. You know, no matter what screen, if it, the screen is too large or too small. Uh, you know what? Maybe um, maybe uh, have a class on WizIQ. Get your audio and video set or your mic set so you can share with us. Show us what your you know, and then maybe we can help out. You can screen share and we can help you uh, through it. But otherwise, maybe uh, WizIQ can help too. Okay, Susan, so um, don't give up. It won't make sense. No, I mean, give a class on WizIQ and screen share. Or we can also go on Skype and you can uh, screen share uh, on Skype and show me um, where the problem is. I can also um, go through to your, go to your computer through TeamViewer. There's TeamViewer um, where someone can set up the system for you and check things. That's what WizIQ does. They go into your computer through TeamViewer. Uh, that's what they did with um, our speaker uh, last time. And uh, they helped out. Screencast-O-Matic, you don't keep, I don't know why people keep things on their computer. It just makes it very slow to, to save things on your computer. It's better to keep them in the cloud. Uh, from Screencast-O-Matic, you simply um, get things on YouTube, on Google Drive. That's what I do. I don't keep things on my computer. I, I delete all the MP4s that I can because MP, MP4s really slow down your computer, uh, Guadalupe. So um, why keep th things on it? The idea with Screencast-O-Matic is that it does this automatically. You just click and it sends everything to YouTube, to Vimeo, uh, Google Drive, Box, Dropbox. The idea is not to keep things on your computer anymore. TeamViewer is completely free unless you're using it for business. It's a way to go in for someone to go into your computer uh, so that they can um, help you if you can't help yourself. And that's how WizIQ um sets things for people where should we you click at the end of the process they can reboot your computer reboot your computer why would they want to do that no they you watch them as they do it you don't go away even though once i went to have lunch and they were fixing some stuff on my computer um even if they do that, everything comes back. But why would they want to reboot? They don't do stuff like that. They're very gentle. They don't uh, mess. They don't mess things up. Trust me. Um, so Susan, if you'd like things set up, like I told um, Tom to, if you want your audio or your mic, whatever you need set up, they'll do it. <laughs> reboot. I know it's a joke. I went back to browser from desktop. For was IQ more stable for me? Let's check audio. Yeah, that's why I think Tom, you should check with was IQ. They'll go into your system and see um, to make sure that things are working well. There's no reason for anyone to have problems. So questions, questions, questions. No, not robot. She meant reboot. She meant to restart your computer. I don't think we use that word anymore. Um, it's restart. 
for shutdown, log out. Oh, you do. You still say reboot. Okay, so um, I'm looking forward to seeing your uh, web quest. Um, if you have any further questions, ah, Tom, I see your hand is up. Does that mean that uh, we'll be able to hear you? Let's see. Let's hear. I see Dijibri. Oh, I hear. Oh my gosh. That was noisy. Very noisy. Um, 